Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today I'm going to be doing your mid-July reading. So this reading will be good for the last two weeks of July. And if you're enjoying the content I create or resonating with the message, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, we're going to take a look first at the overall energy um, in your past and present positions, and then any advice or obstacles that may be on your path, and then finally your, your future um, outcome if you were to take the advice from spirit. But remember, you always have free will. And we're going to first start with the oracle cards, and then we'll go ahead and clarify everything with the tarot. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. Let's see what you have in the past position. Shining through. So um, I'm really getting a sense that for some of you, you know, in the past, you, you may have come into this really wonderful energy, like shining your light, being recognized and appreciated by the people in your life, whether that's in your relationship, or at work just realizing um, just what a beautiful soul you are Taurus and um, and feeling that you know feeling that connection um, with others about how much they appreciate you so right now you have close encounters this is a sense that there are people um, uh, that have passed from your life. So these are deceased family members, or it could be ancestors that are, you know, spirit guides, angels that are nearby helping you through this um, at this time. So perhaps the shining through has been somewhat of a burden for you in some way. Sometimes when we ascend or you know, we start to get a lot of recognition. It's kind of exciting at first. And then, you know, then you start seeing, you know, there, there's maybe a downside to it or something. But you definitely have uh, spirit guides, angels around you that are trying to help you through this time. So your obstacle is opening to discovery. This is you having perhaps a hard time opening to your intuition or opening up to your connections with your spirit guides and angels. You're just um, maybe not sure in what direction you're supposed to go. Like I feel like something new and exciting came onto your path, but now you're just kind of like stuck. Like, okay, where do I take this? Uh, what's my next step? How does this, you know, affect my life? So let's see what your advices healing the heart this is all coming in so that you can heal some situation from the past um and once again you know i, I really feel like these two cards look at how the car the colors are so similar the shapes within them are very similar it's um your ancestors, your spirit guides are coming in to help you to heal your heart. There could be, uh, we're going to clarify all these. There could be some, you know, with the shining through, there could be some also disappointment. Like you may have, you know, um, let, let's say it, it has something to do with career. You may have gotten promoted, right? And now all of a sudden you, you're at a higher level than maybe your friend's on you know your past um, position at work so now you kind of feel like well I'm kind of like losing my friendships at work um, so it's kind of nice that I, I got promoted I got a pay raise but I miss the connections with the people at work it could be something like that all right, so the future, spirit of gratitude. You're going to understand by, oh, and earth magic. So make sure that you're staying grounded. Um, you know, spending time in nature, walking barefoot in grass if you can, eating a lot of red foods like, um, you know, beets, uh, red sweet potatoes, um, anything that, you know, is like grown in the ground, like especially under the ground is really good for grounding. But what all of this is doing is helping to, to understand the how, like I think that this was a really good energy, this shining through, but you are understanding that it also has some 
other obstacles along with it, but you are going to become extremely grateful for what this has brought into you because it's not just, um, you know, like a monetary or a physical, you know, ta tangible type of shining through. There's also something that it's also healing your heart from possibly something, you know, in the past or perhaps with this situation. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clarify these. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is, e, you know, this is you taking uh, some action or getting some communication about how, how to move forward, how to shine your light. For some of you, I'm getting a sense that you kind of maybe went out on your own. You may have started your own business. Um, with this Eight of Wands, it's about you taking action to make, to allow your light to shine to others. You may have, you know, started um, a side business, maybe a spiritual business or a blog or, um, you know, some type of, I, I really feel with this Eight of Wands, it's about communicating. You may have put yourself out there, your ideas out there. And, um, and maybe you weren't completely um, appreciated by everybody, but you knew how important it was to shine your light and put your, your ideas or your positivity out into the universe. So now you have some help from the, you know, the spirit realm to a cops. <laughs> You have somebody new. You have a new love. This is a true soulmate. A lot of times, you know, even a twin flame connection, but a true love soulmate that is coming in. And this person has been put on your path because uh, your spirit, you know, guides your angels, descended ancestors have put this person on your path for a specific reason. It could be part of your journey. And remember, you have healing the heart. So really lovely. Okay, opening to discovery. You have the seven of pentacles. This is putting a lot of time and effort into something. But I feel like you're, you're not getting the rewards that you were hoping to. You're, you know, with the seven of pentacles as an obstacle, it's like you, you may be feeling like you put so much time and effort into something and it's not coming into fruition or you could be looking for some new areas to put your time and effort because we have that with opening to discovery okay so healing the heart the emperor this is you coming into your own power um but it's also you know with the healing of the heart it's about you know, perhaps I'm getting a sense that some of you may have been in a love connection that somebody was extremely controlling in that connection and that kind of broke your heart. But you have this person here and we're going to see if they're the same person or if this is a new love with the two of cups. Okay, spirit of gratitude, we have the world. Yeah, you're really ready to, to you know, go ahead into a new chapter in your life. You're, you're ready to um, accept, you know, be grateful for everything, how everything has turned out in the world. That's what they're saying to me. You're going to be grateful for how everything has turned out in your world. On the bottom, we had Eight of Swords. You are, you're kind of caught up in your, your head. You want to make sure that whatever you're manifesting lasts the test of time. Um, but you're also willing to move on to, towards something new. And then you have the Victory card. So you have a lot of positive energy. It's your, your fears about making sure you can hold on to something for the test of time. I'm not sure, Taurus, did you have um, a similar reading last week? Uh, somebody did. It may have been you. Okay, so the devil just popped out as I'm talking about, um, you know, your uh, holding on to your fears 
um, of, you know, have something lasting the test of time. And then the devil pops out. Um, that is, you know, it's kind of like that this is your toxic pattern that you're wanting something. You want to make sure something lasts forever. Interesting. Yeah, they're, they're indicating that it's okay to start, to step into new chapters in your life, not to, you know, everything in some time, everything has its season. That's what they, <laughs> okay, everything has its season. I think there's a song and the lyrics are something, you know, like to every season, you know, uh, what is that? There is a, a, I don't know, turning, turning into the new seasons or something. Um, that, you know, to allow things to leave and not to be uh, stuck on holding on to things in your life or, in, or situations or people to allow things um, to leave. And, you know, it's interesting because I have the butterfly there saying, you know, butter, you know, allow the butterflies to fly away. And if they're meant to be in your life, if they're meant to return, then they will return. This is about either you or somebody in your life because we have the emperor. I think that the emperor is talking about somebody here not allowing p other people in their life to have freedom, whether that is you, Taurus, or it's the person that you were in a connection with or you're dealing with now. Somebody is trying to um, almost cage, right? Cage, um, cage either you or situations in their life, kind of like holding on to them, not allowing them to fly free and realizing that if you allow things to leave, there's a good chance if, you know, they can return, but you want them to come back on their own. Like um, you don't want to... Uh, you know, shackle them <laughs> to you or, and you definitely don't want to be shackled to anybody else, right? It's about um, allowing, allowing the people that want to leave your life to leave and the people that want to stay in your life to kind of stay as well, as long as that's not toxic, right? I think there's something, something about holding on to people or situations um, too long and almost in a controlling manner here. Okay, so with the Eight of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Fool card with the Chariot. Somebody here is taking a lot of fast action. And this comes with the Shining Through. Like, somebody here is making, um, coming in with a lot of communication or taking fast action. And we have the Ace of Wands. This is, you know, a new offer or inspiration, um, a spark, you know, and it could be in passion. It's definitely a passionate type of energy. Um, and really running kind of almost selfishly, either towards this or away from this, however you take that, because here's the fool card. It's like, yes, I'm running away from something else. And it could be that you felt like you were being kind of like controlled or in a controlling situation. Somebody wouldn't let you go. Um, and so somebody here wanted to run away, like in the middle of the night, looking for inspiration to start their new life. So Taurus, that's either you or it's the person that you were dealing with, wanting a fresh new start in either life, love, career, um, there is a lot of cards here about love, <laughs> so it could be a love situation. So with the two of cups, we have, all right, you intuitively know this. This is the high priestess. So with the two of cups here, and remember, this is like a really true soulmate, um, a true love connection. It could be that somebody here was the knight of wands, um, kind of here today, gone tomorrow, and it's, you know, there's a, a, a kind of a sense of a solitude. I think you got on top of this person that may have kind of run away. I'm getting a sense of that. 
somebody can, I I do feel like for a lot of you, somebody ran away from you and you're getting on top of your feelings about that. You've gone inside. Your spirit um, guides and angels are helping you through this, but that you really and truly see this as a true soulmate, a uh, possibly twin flame connection. And I do think that there could have been some toxicity in that relationship because we do have the devil card and the emperor. And to me, the emperor a lot of times does have like an overly controlling um, type of energy to it. Okay, so let's look at your obstacle. The Seven of Pentacles has the King of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Cups on the bottom. So I really feel like this is your energy. You know, you put a lot of time and effort into this. You're having a hard time uh, giving this up. You really thought that this King of Cups perhaps was somebody that was going to be a lot around a long time and you're wanting to walk away from this energy like i feel like this person's energy is still in your aura like you really want to walk away but you are having difficulty walking away and it's because you put so much time and energy into it you're like oh like i i stuck around too long <laughs> um yeah, that, and that's a hard energy. It's, it, it really is. Uh, I've been there and it's kind of like, yeah, you sit there and you, oh, I put all that time and energy into it. And if it's not a love connection, it could be, you know, like a business that you had that you kept too long, may have lost, you know, more money getting out of it because of that. Or you may have stayed in a job too long. There's something there about like staying too long or feeling like like you had to stay there too long, stay there longer than you really wanted to. Perhaps you were, you know, trying to find another job before you quit that job. There's something about just a sense of you feeling that you stayed too long. Okay, so with the Emperor, we have the, oh my goodness, the Temperance, the Justice, and the Seven of Pentacles. With Six of Pentacles on the bottom, things are going to balance out. You have the Six of Pentacles and you have the Justice card. This is about karma coming in. It's going to take some time. You know, this is, a, Temperance is about patience, uh, the divine coming in and you have the close encounters here. So your spirit guides, your angels, the divine is helping in this situation to bring more balance and, and look at, you know, the temperance is a sense of balance. The justice, of course, is a sense of balance. And then you have the six of pentacles on the bottom. And I feel like you've been waiting for this to happen um, for a long time because we have the seven of pentacles like you have been putting a lot of time and effort in trying to heal your heart and trying to get that spark back get your mojo back that's the way I feel um, and becoming more powerful in your own life like um, I think at some point something was controlling you, whether it was a situation or a person or a relationship, it was controlling you. And now I like this because it's getting a sense of you getting back in control of your own life. And for some of you, it could possibly be that this is a legal matter, like, you know, a legal matter that has just taken time. Um, you know, especially like if it was a business and you were trying to sell the business or get your share of a business or in a divorce, like you were trying to get a financial settlement, something like that. This has taken a very long time, but it is in your advice column. It's about having the patience to allow this to happen because if you don't take too much control over this situation, of course, you want to have healthy boundaries. You want to stand up for yourself, but you don't want to overly control the situation because the divine is definitely uh, working, trying to work their magic in the situation to help you get what it is that is good for you. And you're going to have the spirit of gratitude. It's about allowing karma, allowing the divine, allowing the universe to take care of the situation. They are trying to help you step into this ne next chapter of your life. Really interesting because, um, 
you know, I think some of you are getting kind of impatient and wanting to, you know, possibly, I, I, I'm getting this sense, some of you may be wanting to hire, you know, like switch lawyers, like if you're in the middle of something and it's not going fast enough, like, you know, getting, um, you know, switching up your, your legal um, uh, counsel or um, therapist or medical advisors or whatever, whoever your professionals that you may be working with. And I think for uh, some of you, you are whoever you're, you know, trying to work with, you may feel um, a little bit like you don't have enough control of the situation. But some of this is about allowing, allowing the universe to take its course. And so I would say you really want to really go into your intuition. Follow your gut. Don't let your ego take over. Follow your gut in this situation because the divine is really trying to help you. And if you try to overly control this situation, it may just drag it out even longer, right? So you don't want that to happen. Okay, so, oh, this is so nice. Okay, we have the five of pentacles in the, in the, on the bottom. This isn't your energy. Um, this is the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So you are going to be gratefully stepping into this new world, this new chapter of your life. You're going to be celebrating. Like it's taken a long time and you are really going to be celebrating. Um, this is family and friends, like, Finally, whatever this situation is, it's coming to an end. And here you are, the King of Wands. Like, you have really upgraded yourself. You are really inspired now. You are willing to go forward in your life. You get that, you know, you, I really send, get the sense that something comes onto your path. Um, you know, once again, like a legal decision or a job decision or a romantic decision, something comes in and all of a sudden you have you step into your own power again and you won't have the self-doubt anymore that this is going to happen um they're telling me that your your own fears and own doubts are are getting the maybe the best of you in this situation um to surrender to allow this situation to play out because it is going to play out in your favor Okay, let's get a creativity oracle card for you. Ah, it says collaboration. Creative people can be inspired by sharing and stimulating creativity in others. It seems to me, I thought we had the, um, the three of pentacles. It may have been on the bottom somewhere. But it's about you working. Like don't, collaboration means that you are collaborating with the people that are helping you on this path. You're not trying to take control and you're not allowing somebody else to completely take control. Collaboration means everybody's opinions are heard and appreciated and, you know, discussed perhaps, and then you move on as a group that not one person is, you know, I mean, you always have a leader. You always have to have like a group leader, but somebody isn't running a, around with the control completely that there is um, collaboration in how to go forward. And they're also telling me that you need to be collaborating with spirits. So once again, meditating, um, reaching out, you know, to your spirit guides, your angels, your deceased loved ones, praying to them, talking to them, um, you know, being grateful for their interest in this, their intervention in this, their guidance in this, staying really attuned to that, making sure that you are, you know, um, really being grateful for that. So... I know, you know, my father is past, but I had a really strong, you know, soul connection with him. And, um, you know, I have a couple of his very favorite songs that he really, really enjoyed. And sometimes, you know, when uh, something comes onto my path that I just know he had something to do with, like, I know he really can um, do so much for me, even though he's not in our 3D world anymore. And, you know, like, I'll... 
I'll play his uh, favorite song, you know, on the radio, I'll blast it or something like that to kind of celebrate. It's about celebrating with your loved ones, and, you know, even if they're deceased, you know, um, celebrating or, you know, I'll, I'll bake his favorite pie or something like that just to kind of like say, hey, dad, you know, thanks. <laughs> you got that to work out for me. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is your lover's oracle card, power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. And I do feel like for some of you, you feel like your 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 back is up against the wall. You're caged in and somehow or you were in a past situation. It is about stepping into your own power, but also realizing that you can't overpower others. Or you pro I think you know, Tars, from this past situation, how you know being overpowered doesn't really help the situation at all. It is about this collaboration and collaborating with everybody that's in the situation with you and being grateful for their help. Well, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I really enjoy doing it for you. And if you have uh, resonated with it, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And I wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.